Dolly Zoom Tutorial, only for the Mavic 2 Zoom. Hi, my name is Joshua Daniel, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the Dolly Zoom on your Mavic 2 Pro if you didn't buy the Mavic Zoom. So before we begin, a brief explanation of the Dolly Zoom. The Dolly Zoom slash uh, Vertigo effect was first seen in the movie Vertigo, and it creates an effect where the subject remains the same size and the surroundings will warp around them, and it creates a sense of generally paranoia, fear, or something very weird. So that's why you usually see it in a lot of sci-fi or horror movies or any really tense situations. And sometimes it's used quite subtly and you might even not notice it. I have said many times that this is a very easy effect to create in post, which is why I recommend the Pro over the Zoom in the Mavic series. So here we have uh, two clips, and these are the same clips. In the first is just a normal before the edit, and then after the edit we see a vertigo effect, or dolly zoom. Now, this is incredibly easy to make. I'm just going to move this adjustment layer away because it's just some color because I have shot it in the uh, D-Log format. So the original clip is just starts like this. And as we go through slowly, you can see it's just me zooming in on myself or flying towards myself. And you can do this forwards or backwards or in circles or in many ways you can actually do this. Now, when we have the edit applied, we can see that the city warps around me. Now, how do we do this? I'm going to delete this first clip so it's out of the way. So we have just this clip and now I'm going to remove the attributes from this. So I have to start again from scratch. Now, because I shot this in 4K and my timeline is in 1080, I have the ability to zoom out to about 72%. However, it doesn't matter. You can be, you could be editing this in uh, 1080. It, it's, it doesn't really matter. Now, all editing software should be able to do this as long as I can do keyframes and I'm using Premiere Pro, obviously. So I'm going to go to the end of my clip and I am going to add a toggle animations by clicking on this stopwatch. And that's just means that when it gets to this part of the frame, it's going to be the scale that I want. And I want this to be at 74 just because that's where all the black bars disappear. Now I'm going to go to the beginning of the clip and I want to be the same size at the beginning as I do at the end. And generally this means I just need to double myself. So that means I'm just going to click on this scale and I could type it in or just scroll across. So I'm going to go up to 144. There we go. Now it's not exact, but I am basically the same size throughout this clip. And you can see on this, it changes the scale as we go along. And that's all there is to it. This is how easy it is to create. Now I'm going to put that adjustment layer just back over to add the color back. And uh, because my computer lags quite a bit, I'm going to select in and out and I'm going to quickly render into out. This will just mean that my playback will be nice and smooth so we can see the effect in motion. So there we have the effect and that's all that there is to it. So you can make this on any drone, you can use a camera, you can use a handheld, whatever. Anyone can make this effect and it is incredibly quick and uh, easy. And of course you don't have to use a dolly zoom just on a person, you can use it on a building, uh, in the movie Vertigo, you, they saw it used on a staircase to show the heights, so that's a really good use of the effect. Uh, it's just such an easy effect to do that, um, it's, in my opinion, it's not really a question of how to do it, it's when to do it. So if we think about that Jaws clip, it showed like a sense of drama or emergency. So here we have another clip of myself in the forest, and you can see this amazing shock on my face. Uh, so here we just flying towards myself again. And once we add the effect, we have a really nice one where the, war, the trees kind of warp around me. And I think this works really well if you have things in the mid-ground and foreground. And uh, actually, you know what? They use this in Lord of the Rings when the ring rate is coming. And I think this is the same forest that I'm filming in now. Now, of course, I was shooting a D-Log game, so let's just add that uh, color grade back. A uh, bit of a meme cinematic color grade. And let's add some effects in, like the music effect. And we get this amazing... Just look at that unholy acting talent. So as you can see, it's actually very simple to do the dolly zoom effect on the Mavic 2 Pro. If you didn't buy the zoom, it's actually, you can do this on any drone, any camera. You can just uh, try and be as still as you can. Drones just do this very well because they are able to fly uh, and usually very stably these days. So it works for a very nice effect. Anyway, if this video is helpful to you, please subscribe. Give me a like, leave a comment for any questions or suggestions for future videos. Until next time, my name's been Joshua Daniel, and cheers.